What is up, you guys? For all those um, Azure DevOps users or planning to use Azure DevOps as their project management software, you have to watch this video. Because for today, we're going to be talking about Agile and Scrum strategies inside Azure DevOps. So basically, what is Agile and what is Scrum? Agile is an approach to software development that rejects the traditional waterfall approach. Based on project management ideas, it instead suggests a more lightweight and iterative approach, one where small cross-functional teams work quickly to deliver software in small increments or iterations. It focuses on rapid delivery and short feedback cycles, so basically agile as the name suggests, fast, fast project delivery, all right? So this is so the team can learn and course correct as they go instead of bundling all the integration and testing in a big phase near the end of a project. It suggests integrating and testing continuously in small loops. This reduces risk, improves learning, and allows faster feedback process. So on the other hand, what is Scrum? So Scrum is a popular agile framework created by Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland in the 1990s. It implements the ideas in the agile manifesto. In Scrum, there is a small team usually made up of 10 people of developers, guided by a product owner and a Scrum master. This team delivers a product increment every sprint. This sprint is between one or one and four weeks long. They pull items such as user stories of a product backlog and try and complete them each sprint. So, Scrum in Azure DevOps. So, in Azure DevOps, work begins its life cycle in the portfolio backlog. There are two work types you can create there, epics and features. Features are always a child of an epic. Once work progresses onto a Kanban board or a task board, you need to split the features out into the main work type in as do Scrum. So in as do Scrum, you have product backlog item or PBI. This can, this can in turn be split into further tasks, which would correspond to splitting a Jira story or issue into subtasks. So Scrum also supports the bug issue type. These can be tracked on the Kanban board or also split out into tasks, which can in turn be tracked onto the task board. You can track tasks in terms of the remaining work to complete. Now, how about Agile? So Agile is Azure DevOps, has some similarities to Scrum, but some differences also. So like Scrum, Agile has epics as the highest item in the project taxonomy. These also live in the portfolio backlog and can be split out into features. Once you, get, you, once you want to get features done on the Kanban board or task board, things are a bit different. In Agile, the main work item tracked on the Kanban board is a user story. This corresponds to product backlog items in the Scrum process. You can also split them out into tasks and track them on the task board. Bugs are optional issue type in as do unlike Scrum where they are automatically there. If you are using them, you can split out split them out into tasks like user stories. Task tracking is more flexible in Agile than Scrum. You can also track tasks by original estimate, remaining work, and completed work. You can also track project issues rather than bugs as issues. So basically, um, Scrum has been in the game. I mean, you know, it, it, the, it has already been present in the strategy uh, long ago since it was developed in the 1990s and Agile is somewhat new but Agile is just a child of Scrum. So basically they are almost uh, the same and they also have their key differences. So whichever strategy you want to use, you already have the vital knowledge right now if you, you should go with Agile or you should go with Scrum. Now it, it all depends on your preferences, your plans, your strategies and your techniques to choose whichever is um, more efficient for you. Like, if you were to go with Agile, do you think all of those um, pers all of those factors checks out? Then you should go with Agile. If you think that you need to um, have the features offered by the Scrum strategy, then you should go for the Scrum strategy to make your work hassle-free. And when I say hassle-free, um, you won't be going out of your way so much just to look for the next step or the next strategy because it's all outlined by both strategies. So that's all for today's video. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell for a lot of more videos like this. This is your homeboy Josh, and I'm gonna see you on the next video.